we're nearly ready to do some writing now. I just want to show you one more time how the italic nib works. Now I'm trying to demonstrate it here by using a ruler. You can see how that long flat tip of the ruler will run in a different direction to create a different thickness of line. Now the italic pen does a similar thing. It's got that thin tip to it. So when the pen, pen is being pushed diagonally into the thick edge, it will produce a thick line. And when it's running diagonally from uh, along the thin edge, it will produce a thin line. And you can see as I'm just playing around with the pen here, you'll see the thickness of the line varies a lot depending on which way the pen is moving. Now you'll see when I do this big letter X that one stroke is very very thin and the other stroke is very very thick. Now that's what gives italic writing its distinctive quality. It's what makes it look elegant. Now you'll see me writing something here on this line guide. The line guide helps you to make sure that you've got your letter size is consistent. Working with the letter guide uh, with the line guide is going to be really important. Um, hopefully, after a while, you'll either be able to put the line guide underneath a piece of plain paper so you can see it, but then when you pull the piece of plain paper away, you won't have to worry about uh, the lines remaining. Or perhaps at some point you might actually be able to write straight onto the plain paper. You can see me writing here. I'm writing something which is a little bit of a clue as to what we're going to look at in the next video. Um, I'm not sure whether you'll know what it means. I think you probably won't. Owls, monkeys and tree giraffes.